About how long ago were you diagnosed with gout? Oh, years ago. More than 10? 20 years ago. About 20 years ago now. Yeah. How old are you, how so old are you now? Well, when I was able, uh -huh. uh, I used to, uh, I was taking gout medication, but only as needed. Okay. And then I just, uh, I would only get, I mean, I learned how to control it by, you know, avoiding. I don't, I'm not a big drinker. Every now and then I have a beer, and I haven't had a beer in a year. Okay. Wow. Usually it's something celebratory. Everybody right. else is drinking hard liquor, wine. I can't drink wine. That'll cause gout. Mm -hmm. uh, red wine. The red meat, if it's raw. So you... Uh, or rare liver, you know, any kind of organs that can't Organ eat certain meat. kind of nuts. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I haven't been paying attention to the nuts lately. Because okay. this doesn't look like your typical gout. abscess. It looks more like a gout coming through the skin. That's exactly what it is. Which means I've had a long time. Yeah, what you have is what we call uh, tophaceous gout. And what tophaceous gout means is that you have tophi, you have crystals that are formed in the joints. And every now and then we'll see where it kind of busts through the skin. That's good that it did bust through the skin, no? Well, not yeah. really, because it leaves you at risk for developing an infection. Uh, so now I have to take medication to get rid of the gout, right? Or to at least control it. So you're not taking anything regularly right now? For gout? Right. Nothing. I haven't taken anything for gout for, it's been about five years. Okay. I used to every now and break out with gout. I could tell that I had gout. Mm -hmm. And I would, uh, I would just take the medication. Gotcha. I used to have it on hand, but it could be now because I'm diabetic and don't, you know, and all this um, neuropathy stuff. Mm -hmm. he, he said I had some kind of other neuropathy. You have a peripheral neuropathy. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. probably fairly advanced because this should really hurt a lot. Usually when we see this in our gout patients, when it gets to this point, and the gout crystals are breaking through the skin, causing an ulcer, it is extremely painful. When was the last time you said you took gout med uh, medication on a regular basis? Five. Well, I never took it on a regular. I just took it if I had an outbreak. Okay. And because it would make me, you know, do things to my stomach. Okay. Which I... S would it give your stomach upset or what would happen? Upset. And diarrhea. All right. There's this little white dot. I want to show it to you because you can't see it from where you are. Right in here. I don't need to see it. That's gout. That's, that's what that, I was looking at right crystals. now. That's gout crystals. Okay, let's it see. It's kind of like a styrofoam. Wow. Oh, there wow. it goes. Yeah. Now it's coming out. Mm -hmm. Those are gout crystals. Okay. And I, you said I've had it probably for some time? Yeah. Yeah, I noticed it. I'm pretty sure, like in Mexico, but mm -hmm. I just thought it was, uh, I don't know what I thought it was. Just not important. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't think anything of it. Right. The thing is, once we start seeing this much, I mean, there's, there's much more than this, then I'll be able to squeeze out of here. I can see it from here. You see it here on the, on the, on the Q-tip? Mm -hmm. All right, so that's a little bit, I and mean, I've done this where a whole lot comes out on other patients. So what we need to do after today is get an x-ray. <coughs> to 
typically what what can happen after we see this much buildup is that the gout crystals start to erode the bone. So we need to see if that's happening in your case. So I'm just giving a little squeeze and some a little bit more is coming out. Get it all out. Well, here's the thing. For me to get it all out, I would have to make an incision about this long. And with your diabetes and your circulatory issues, I don't want to do that right now. Mm. Not until those issues well, are further addressed. Squeeze. Yeah, I'm getting it. I'm getting what I can. I'm getting out what I can without being too aggressive. Because the thing is, the, the crystals themselves, they, they cause an, an erosion of bone. But my biggest concern is making sure that this little hole that they created heal, heals up. Now That's the biggest thing. This cream, so I keep putting that on? You yeah, yeah, you're gonna keep using the antibiotic cream. You're gonna keep doing that. You're gonna keep keeping it covered. And we're gonna put a, a full dressing on it today because of today's procedure, but starting tomorrow, you'll be able to use just a Band-Aid, all right? And I'm okay in the shower, right? No. No? The reason why you're not okay in the shower, because tap water is not sterile. Oh. So you can only use uh, sterile saline or peroxide or something like that to clean this. That's so you'll have to keep your foot outside of the shower. Outside that's of the that's, that's going to be interesting. Yeah. Or, <laughs> or there's always the sink. Yeah. You know. You're not out there getting uh, sweaty and stuff like that, so. No, I don't do sweaty. Okay, so you should be be okay for not having to take a shower shower for a little while. And when will I need to come back here? You need to come back in a week. Okay. Okay. Now you want Then you'll tell me whether I'm funky or not. What? <laughs> now your body will tell us. You won't have to say anything. <laughs> No, I'm I okay, say, you know, I'm fine. You can just say, uh, I think this time mm -hmm. to be a little more aggressive with yeah. cleaning that mm -hmm. body. <laughs> I'm not getting much more crystals out right now. The thing about that crystals are always in a state of formation. So I, I expect there to so be the more. So that caused the crystal. That is correct. Mm -hmm. And the crystals got to the point where there was nowhere else for them to go, so it broke through the skin. Mm. Bad gout, bad gout. Yeah. Yep. I never knew gout was all this, because I was told that gout is a buildup of what kind of acid? Uric acid. Uric acid. Yep. Mm. And I just assumed. Mm hmm. When I was taking the medication, that it, you urinated out. Or well, here's, out. here's how gout works. All right, so you have too much uric acid in your system. All right, and the reason why you have your too much uric acid in your system is one of two pathways: either you're making too much, which means you're an overproducer, or you're not getting rid of it. In, in enough quantities, you're an under excreter. We get rid of uric acid through the urine. We pee it out. Uh, so if your kid, so so, so, so 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 if your kidneys are not clearing it enough, okay, then what you're called an, an under excreter. So you're just holding on to it yeah. instead of getting rid of it. And it's, I have not been urinating. You haven't urinated much, okay? So I am mm -hmm. going to just drink water, 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 <laughs> water, water. I hate water. <laughs> you know what I tell my son to make to make him drink water? Like it may, it fills up your blood. Your mm. blood is made out of water. So and there's still a few more. I'm gonna get a little bit more out. Get them all out. Uh, like I said, <laughs> in order for me to get them all out, I'd have to Squeeze make about a half inch incision, and I don't want to do that today. Mm. All right. So we will. Uh, have you back in a week. Mm -hmm. All right, it's, it's, it's not infected. You don't need uh, antibiotics by mouth. Uh, the topical that, that you already have should be fine. Yeah. Okay. 
But now, what you need to be very cognizant of is if it starts to swell more or get red, painful, or start to drain, then you need to let me know right away instead of waiting until next week. If it gets. If, if, it's, if it gets red, swollen, and starts to drain, those are signs of infection. Okay? Before, before I come back. Yeah. Yeah, just get a, a just an alcohol wipe to clean the, clean the iodine off.